The lac operon is an example of an inducible system in which the presence of an inducer molecule, in this case derived from lactose, results in the expression of the structural genes in the operon. The structural genes are LAC-Z, LAC-Y, and LAC-A, genes that can be transcribed into mRNA and translated into protein. The system works in the following way. The LAC repressor protein, encoded by the LAC-I gene, is always expressed, whether lactose is present or not. In the absence of lactose, the LAC repressor binds to the LAC operator site. Repressor binding to the operator physically blocks the progression of RNA polymerase. Since RNA polymerase is unable to transcribe the LAC structural genes, the corresponding proteins are not made. The environmental signal that turns on the LAC operon is lactose, but the actual inducer is allolactose, a molecule that forms from lactose once lactose enters the cell. When allolactose is present inside the cell, it binds to the LAC repressor, causing the repressor to change shape. In this new conformation, the repressor can no longer bind to the LAC operator site. Without the repressor blocking its way, RNA polymerase is now able to transcribe the structural genes. Thus, in the presence of lactose, the LAC structural genes are expressed. The proteins encoded by the LAC-Z and LAC-Y genes participate in the metabolism of lactose.